Hi, my name is Amber and this is my top 10 books of 2016. First off, these are books that are published and I read in 2016. If they were published outside of 2016, I don't count them on this list. I do have a video of my top 5 disappointing reads of 2016, which I will have linked down below. These are not in any particular order, they are just kind of randomly thrown out. If I tried to order these into actually 1 through 10, I would never be able to make it. But the first book I want to talk about is, of course, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is a big shocker. I think this is on a lot of people's favorites list this year. This is the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses. If you have not picked up the series yet, please go do so. It's so amazing and fantastic and I loved the first book last year and I fell in love with the second book this year. It was so much fun in the first one. I did not expect it to be this amazing. I don't reread books very often but this is one that I had picked up multiple multiple times again this year after reading it. I loved this so much and is definitely probably number one even though I'm not numbering these. Next I have Passenger by Alexander Bracken. This came out in the beginning of 2016. The sequel is supposed to be coming out on the third. I do have a spoiler free review of Wayfarer but I read Passenger in the beginning of 2016 and loved it so much. This is a time traveling book that is just phenomenal and amazing and it's beautiful and it definitely made my top 10 this year. Next I have Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is a collection of novel novellas and short stories from the Lunar Chronicles series. When first reading the Lunar Chronicles, I stayed away from any of the novellas because I wanted to wait until there was a bind up to where I could just read all of them all together. And this year it came out and it was so fantastic. I loved every single story in this. There's an extra end story that I just fell in love with. It was so cute. It was fantastic in a great way to kind of continue on with the Lunar Chronicles. Next I have Ruined by Amy Tintira. It's definitely a favorite of mine this year. This is a story about a girl named Em who has to go undercover and fake that she is a princess betrothed to find her sister and get revenge on the kingdom and it is fan- Fantastic. It is amazing and I loved it so much and I cannot wait for the sequel to come out this year. I just there's so many amazing things that I could say about this book and I definitely wish more people would go and read it because it's fantastic. Go read this book. It's so good. Next I have Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes. I do not read many contemporaries very often but this is one that I just I had to pick up as soon as I heard about it. It's about a girl named Maguire who believes that she has bad luck and that everybody she comes in contact with will get her bad luck and something horrible will happen to them. She's dealt with situations where she's been the only one to survive in a car crash. Horrible, horrible events always happen to her and it's just, it's messed with her and you see her process kind of trying to deal with that and you see her fall in love and you see her deal with her mental illness and it's such a fantastic book that I wish more people would read. It definitely needs to be acknowledged more and I just, I love the story so much. I thought it was so cute. Next I have Empire Storms by Sarah J Mass. This is the fifth fifth book in the Throne of Glass series. This book takes you on an emotional roller coaster ride. It just does not stop. I was definitely crying by the end of this and if you know what the end is, you know why I was bawling my eyes out. It's a favorite of mine as well, just like A Court of Thorns and Roses is. I love the series so much and all these characters in this world and just the magic and I just love Sarah J Maas's writing and I will most likely just pick up any book she ever puts out. Next I have Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the sequel to Illumine. If you have not read Illumine, it is hard to explain what this series is about but there there is space and fantastic characters and amazing artificial intelligence and viruses and, and little creatures that will kill you. It is written in emails and different types of formats like that and it is just, it is a fantastic, fantastic series. If you have not started the series yet, please go do so because it just gets better with each book. Next I have The Flame Never Dies by Rachel Vincent. This is the last book in the Stars Never Rise duology. This is a book full of demons and an apocalyptic world where when babies are born, if they don't get a soul automatically, they just die and it is so dark and so twisted and I loved it so much. So good. Duology is fantastic and it's such a fast, amazing read. Next I have Infinity by Jess Accardo. I didn't even plan on reading this this year. I had no idea that it was definitely going to make my top 10. This was sent to me by Entangled Teen. This is a story about a girl whose strict military father she soon finds out is the head of a secret underground government facility that has created a way to time travel between different dimensions. He sends two guys to protect her and she soon finds out that they are not who they seem as well and that everything is just twisted and insane and there's another version of her in another dimension that has died and it is it's a crazy really fun fast read. I read this in a day and I loved every second of it. I do have a spoiler free review. Any books that I have reviews for I will link them down below. And lastly I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This book this book I actually just read in December and I loved this book so much. It is definitely a favorite of mine. It is so dark and twisted and amazing and it's so fantastic in its writing. I honestly think Marissa Meyer did such a fantastic job of bringing Wonderland to life again and 
you feel like you're reading Lewis Carroll's writing as well as her writing kind of morphed together and I just thought that was fantastic. It is Lewis Carroll's Wonderland but just with her twist on it and it was done so perfectly. Those are my top 10 books of 2016 but I do have a few honorable mentions that I want to talk about. The first being Remember Yesterday by Pintip Dunn. This is the sequel to Forget Tomorrow. Everland by Wendy Spinal. Next I have The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine. The last honorable mention is The Marked Girl by Lindsay Klingle. So those are my top 10 and some honorable mentions of my favorites of 2016. Let me know down below your favorite read of 2016 and I'll see you guys next time.